Tonight is July the 1st of 2025. <clears throat> I finally broke down and bought something that I've been looking at for years. Uh, you know, I need it like I need another hole in the head, but anyway, I had to have one. It's one of these um, milliwatt, up to 5 watt uh, audio output power meter. It's a uh, it's a, a general radio type 583A. You see a lot of them on uh, eBay. There's some glare there that I wish wasn't there, but anyway, I think you can see it. Move the camera around as little as possible here. Um, what I've got hooked up right now, here I gotta take the camera loose. I'll mount it back in a minute. Okay. What we're looking at right now is, uh, let's see, I've got it times. I've got it on 60 times 10, which is 600 ohms, which is the output of this guy right here, my oscillator. So I'm running it at 2 kilohertz. I've got the uh, this SG505. I've got it clicked in. I don't know if you can hear it, but see it clicks in, so it's in the cal position. And there it is. It says it's just a hair over 1 milliwatt. Because, see, we've got the multiplier times 0.1. So, the scale is 50 milliwatts. So, 0.1 would be 5 milliwatts. So, there's 1. Now, they don't guarantee that it's a 1% accurate thing if you read the manual. I think it's like 6 or 7%. But, it's pretty darn good, isn't it, for probably 65 to 70 years old. Okay, there it is at 600 ohms. Well, see, look what you got as a multiplier. You can multiply everything. So it goes from, if you get 0.1, it goes from 2.5 ohms up to 200 times 100, which is 20K. Pretty cool. Okay, so now we're going to put it on 80 times 0.1, which is 8. You can see it through all the glare, 80. So that's 8 ohms. Okay, now we're going to have 8 ohms into here. Now here's what we're going to do now. We're going to use this little amplifier, my little, my little jewel, as I named it some time ago. <clears throat> and we're going to measure the power of it. I'm going to put the camera back here. Mount it back if I can. I don't know. There's some kind of magic to mounting this blasted thing. Here, I'm going to move the camera back a little bit so you can see everything for the moment. Okay. So I'm going to pull this off, which is now our signal source. I'm going to put it into the amplifier. Got the amplifier all the way down. Okay, I've already got a little jig hooked up here. We're going to hook this up. What we've got is, this is the output of the amplifier right here. The amplifiers. Let me see here, right here. And then this is going over to the breakout box so we can watch it on, every, on all of the instruments I have here. And I'm also going to clip the uh, Tektronix power meter across it. I'm trying to try to do all this in a way beforehand, but you know I had to unplug it, so now I've got to, now I've got to fumble a little bit. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, got to get the negative. There we go. We got the negative in. Now let's see if we can get the positive in. All right, there we go. So we've got 0.1 times 80, which is 8 ohms. Now we've got to go to the multiplier. We want to put it all the way over on 100. So the full scale is 50 times 100. So we got 5 watts now. So we can measure up to 5 watts. Now you might notice, and it is true, that this thing won't completely zero. Uh, it just, I, I can't... Uh, I can't get it to completely zero or my camera to completely focus at that distance. Come on, David. You can do this. See there? Watch. It'll, it'll focus here in a minute. Come on. There we go. I can't get it to go to zero. I know how to turn this, obviously, but it just won't go over there. So it doesn't seem to put much error actually in the in the reading. And I, I'll, I'll prove that to you in just a minute. It's pretty amazing, even though that's not set at zero. 
It crossed my mind to take the meter out and disassemble it. Oh, no, no bad idea. Because if I ruin this, well, the whole thing's trash. Right? So there you go. Okay, now, what we're going to do, let me back off again. I've got a kitty cat in here that may be helping me here in just a second. Um, I'm going to zoom in and out a bunch. I'm going to turn up the power of the uh, amplifier here, right here. And I'm going to turn it up to, well, let's see. Let's see. We really are focused on uh, the meter, so let's go back to the meter. Not too close that it won't focus. Let's put it on, say, 2 watts. That would be right. Whoops. Sensitive control. That would be right there. That's close to 2 watts as I can get. 2 watts, right? And look at this. I'm, I'm telling you, these old instruments are amazing. Look at right here on the Tektronics, the one that I actually really trust. 2.01 watts. I'm not making this up. These things are that good. Let's look at the. Let's look at the uh, output. That's what it looks like. Two watts. And there's THD right up there. One point two percent. But it's got a really nice looking uh, sound wave at two kilohertz. Okay, let's go back. We'll go back here and let's uh, let's raise it a little bit. Let's get this guy to focus again. There we go. Let's run it up to three watts. Be as careful as I can. Get it as close as I can. I'm watching the camera. I guess it's, it's three watts close as I can get. And I care. And our Tektronics says it's 3.09. There's our beautiful sine wave at 3 watts. Our THD really didn't go up. 1.6, 1.59, 1.6%. Still quite good. This is, uh, this is at uh, 2 kilohertz. I do everything at 2 kilohertz so I can uh, move between 2 kilohertz, 200 hertz, 20 hertz. And then at the top end, 20 kilohertz without doing a whole lot of knob twisting. I just got to do some button pushing. Isn't that, isn't that pretty amazing? It really is. Yeah, pretty amazing. Measures it uh, extremely accurate. I'm going to turn it down. I'm sure these things are, these things are built like tanks, so I'm sure it can dissipate uh, its full power watts for a thousand years. Uh, it's beautiful inside. Nobody's ever touched it. I don't know what to say about it. Well, I got one now. <laughs> for whatever that's worth. Uh, Oh, well, I'll, I will show you this. Okay, let's do a frequency response. It, it's actually quite good. Okay, let's see. Now, what we've got to do now is we've got to take this back off here. I'm, you know, I'll show you what I'm doing. Let me back off again. I'm taking the output you know, back out of the amplifier. I'm going to disconnect all of this hoopla up here. Disconnect the, the power meter. Disconnect this guy right here. And connect the uh, the oscillator, the 600 ohm oscillator. We got to put this back on 60. Got to put this back on times 10, 600. Got to put this back on 0 0.1. And there's our 100 milliwatts back. Okay. Now, so I don't have to move the camera around enough to drive everybody crazy. I'll uh, I want to show you this. Okay, this is it. Uh, 2 kilohertz. I'm going to go. I'm going to start at the bottom. This is 20 hertz. 20 hertz. Look at there. A milliwatt. This is 200 hertz. I trust this uh, Tektronics SG505. It, it has always been stellar. There it is. I mean, it's a teeny tiny bit more. That's at 200 hertz. This is back at our uh, 2 kilohertz. 1 milliwatt. I think they rated it up to 10K. I'm going to go to 20K. If I go to 20K, 
See, it reads a little bit low. Actually, if you read it in decibels, it reads about um, eight and a half instead of 10. So it's about a one and a half dB low at 20 kilohertz. Let's see. I think they rate it to about 10. Let's go down to 10. Let's see if we go the other way. Okay. That's 10 kilohertz. Yeah, it's back at one, isn't it? it it's hard to believe. These old instruments are so good. Well, I am just an absolute unwavering fan of these old uh, general radio instruments, GR. I think they're known as GenRad now. Anyway, that's the story. I'm really pleased I got it. It, it was only like 40 bucks, 10 or 12 bucks shipping. See, and now I got my little helper. See, she's going to help me out. This is Lucy. Lucy Cat. I have six kitty cats. And this is the little amplifier, so it does three beautiful watts. And that is that. I don't really think there's much else to show about it. Well, I'll show you inside. We got another minute or two. This is a short enough video. Let me see here. Try not to kick the camera. Uh, pull the little screws out here. You know, it's a it's a passive instrument, meaning it has no batteries or power supply. You know, what you got to do is you got to be so careful with these old instruments like this or anything anything else. Because it is, I've done it, I hate to admit it, I don't even want to admit it, but you know, it's really, really just, <clears throat> oh my God, everything's so heavy. Look at that wooden box, isn't that a beautiful little wooden box? Can you still see everything? Yeah, you can. Oh, and, um, you know, it's, it's just, you don't want something to lay around and be in pristine shape for 60, 70 years and then you get it and drop it. Well, I haven't done exactly that, but I have I have ruined things and I'm, uh, it's, uh, it's really frustrating. It makes a fellow want to scream. Look at these contacts. Look how they do it. Look how those contacts move around. And I've, of course, wiped them all off. And, and then the resistors on this thing are all uh, are all wound on a little wire. So while they are so-called, okay, I'm going. I'm getting. Uh, you can see the resistors here. They compensate them. Frequency compensate them, no doubt. So that there's uh, no reactants in them. X of L. So that's it. Okay, let's see if I can get this thing back in without destroying it. Make a video and destroy it. Well, that'd be sad, wouldn't it? Well, that is it right there, ladies and gentlemen, for the uh, for the little GR power meter. Maybe you need one. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Stay safe.